Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to turn on and off an LED with the snap of your fingers using the KY037 sound sensor with the Raspberry Pi and Python. Now, this is an extension of a previous tutorial where I first showed you how to get set up with the KY037 in Python with the Raspberry Pi and we wrote our first script and I showed you the physical setup. So we'll be doing an extension of that as you could see here and the outcome will be that this LED is also connected to the circuit. So I'll be showing you the circuit diagram as well and we'll be able to turn on and off that LED based on a certain sound threshold, which will be the snap of our fingers. And by the end of it, you will have exactly, as you see here, the ability to trigger a device with the snap of your fingers, which is pretty cool. So enough being said, guys, I do not want to waste any of your time. Let's jump into the physical, the physical connection side of things so I could show you how to wire all of your components. So just make sure you have an LED, a breadboard, a KY037, some jumper wires, and your Raspberry Pi, and let's get into it. And before we get into the tutorial for today, be sure to watch part one if you haven't. So I'll link that right here because we'll be building upon a lot of the concepts and components that we used in part one. And also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in tune for more awesome IoT and DIY content on the Shilla channel. We do a lot of things, Raspberry Pi, Arduino, full stack, and I think a lot of you guys who aren't subscribed to this channel can find more useful content if you are subscribed to this channel. So do not shy away, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, the physical connection diagram. You can see that we have the KY037 sound sensor exactly as how we connected in part one. I did not change that. Same ground to ground power to the five volt pin on the Raspberry Pi, followed by the blue pin digital output to pin seven on the Raspberry Pi. Next, we have in addition to that is the LED. I'm using a red LED today. You can use any color LED you want. And on the shorter side of the LED, you will notice, first of all, that one of the sides is shorter. This is the side we want to connect to the ground pin on the Raspberry Pi with a 220 ohm resistor there. So we wanna be sure we add that as well to make sure that the LED does not get burnt out from an overflow of currents. So we're using pin number nine for the ground on the Raspberry Pi. And the next thing we're also doing is we're connecting the long pin to the GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi here, that is pin 11 on the Raspberry Pi. And the reason we're connecting it to GPIO is because this will allow us to toggle it on and off depending if the GPIO is high or low. If it's high, the LED will turn on and we want to be able to turn on when we reach a certain threshold of sound, which is the whole point of our video today. So once you have all this connected, just go ahead and turn on your Raspberry Pi, connect it to a power source. Your, your LED should not be turned on at this point. We will turn it on in the code. And let's jump into the Python side of things to show you what we need there to turn this thing on with a snap. Okay, so jumping to our Raspberry Pi to write our Python script. I already have the Python script we'll be using today. And I just copied it into the same file we used in part one. Once again, all this code will be in my blog and in the description down below. So we could just create a Python script on a Raspberry Pi if you're not using SSH. As I mentioned in part one, I am using SSH to to have a session where I can code from my on my Raspberry Pi from my local computer, as you can see here. You do not have to do this. You can just create a Python file on your Raspberry Pi and just put the code that we have today on that Python file and run that code. So very simple code today, very similar to the parts one code. We're just using that GPIO library to set the pins for the KY037, as you see here. In addition to that, we are setting the pin for the LED pin that we will configure to turn on and off. Another important aspect of the code, as you see here as well, is this LED state. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you guys. So this LED state manages the global state of the LED. So that is if we snap and the LED is on, that, that means the LED should turn off. Otherwise, if the LED is off and it hears a snap, it should turn on. So our snap will either turn it on and off depending on the global LED state. And we have this function to help us toggle that. And it just checks the state and it turns it off if it's on. Otherwise, it turns it on. And then in this main loop, as you could see there, what we're doing is we are just measuring the signal from the KY037 digital output pin. If that signal is equal to one, we're going to toggle the LED. And hopefully we, we get the potentiometer to a point where it's just sensitive enough to only trigger the, the toggle LED with a snap. Sometimes I noticed if it's too sensitive, it can change based on how I'm talking. So that, that may be a little hard to show with today's YouTube video because the potentiometer is very small. If that does happen, just go ahead and twist the potentiometer to the left that is counterclockwise to slightly increase the sensitivity. We talked about the sensitivity a lot in part one. It is very finicky with this device. And if it's your first time using it and it's, it's just on the whole time, what you want to do is you want to keep spinning it counterclockwise because as I mentioned in part one, it took me a hundred spins to actually change it from a one output to a zero. So keep that in mind as well. 
we, we already configured the threshold to be on the border between zero and one in part one. So this code should work pretty well as expected. And I went and tested it before this YouTube video. And that's pretty much it for the code. We just have some exception handling here. Hopefully no exception will happen. It shouldn't, all my connection is fine. The program is going to run. And once we have all the code, we can just go ahead and run the program with Python, the name of the Python file, and let's go ahead and click enter. Okay, so we see we have this in front of us. I hope you can see it clear. Now, if I go ahead and snap, it should trigger on. So perfect, and let's give it more than a second, which a second has passed, and we can go ahead and snap again. Okay, so perfect as well. Now, if you notice, once again, if this is triggering with a, a subtle sound or your voice, you wanna go ahead and twist that potentiometer to the left slightly because that potentiometer is very sensitive, so you do not twist it too much to the left and it should work as expected, guys. So that pretty much sums it up for this tutorial, everyone. As you saw, incredibly simple to get the KY037 to attach to an LED and turn it on and off with the snap of the fingers. So I hope after watching this, you learned something new or you just got it working for yourself. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel because that would mean a lot to me. Also, let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions or if you're having issues with what we went over today because I know it could be a little overwhelming for some beginners who do not shy away from suggestions or questions on this channel. And that being said, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Hopefully we'll talk about the analog output from the KY037. Up to this point, we only talked about the digital output. So stick around for that and I will see you later. Thank you for watching.